First, for this 50s look, I applied Wing Liquid Eyeliner to her lids and added mascara and red lipstick to finish it off. For the winged liner, I put tape on the sides of her eyes to make the eyeliner sharper and easier to work with. Next, for the 60s look, I applied some iconic Twiggy eyeliner to her lids. First, apply a line in the crease of your eyelid. It took a while for me to get this right, but I found that it's easier if you draw three little dots where you want the eyeliner to be and connect them, bringing it down to the bottom lash line. And if you mess up, it's okay. Just use a makeup wipe to take it right off. Then draw a thin line along the lash line to define the eye. After that's done, take the eyeliner and draw some little fake eyelashes to the bottom of your lid to give the illusion of crazy long bottom lashes. Then add some mascara and the look is done. Next for the 70s, this is a no makeup makeup hippie look. First apply a light champagne gold to the lids and then a light brown shade in the crease with a blending brush. Then bring that same light brown shade down to the lower lash line for some extra definition. Also add some mascara to the lashes. Then I used some highlight on the tops of her cheeks for a dewy glow. Next this is an extra step, it's totally optional, but I added some fake freckles to her nose and cheeks. Now for the 80s look. I first added some pink eyeshadow all over her lids. Then I taped the sides of her eyes so that I could get a nice winged eyeshadow shape when I added more colors. Then I went in with a bright blue in the crease with a heavy hand. Don't be afraid to go crazy. After I added the blue, I also went in with some purple but only on the outer V of her eyelid. After that, I pulled the tape off and added some bright blue to the bottom lash line. And after that, I added a ton of pink blush and brought it up along her temple. Next, I took some crazy bright pink lip gloss and applied it to her lips. After that, I topped it off with mascara and the look is done.